Shalom, and welcome to my world, and my name is Daniel. If you're very, very careful, if you listen, if you have ears to hear, you will be hearing the resounding trumpet of the seventh trumpet, the perfect trumpet, the trumpet that was always scheduled by God to blow first because the first is last and the last is first. Welcome, I am Daniel from the north. If you listen very carefully, you can hear the snap, crackle, and pop of the refiner's fire of love that will come forth and bring a world of equality, a world where there is no more condescending attitudes of us, of one another, uh, a world with a foundation of love under each and every one of us because our beloved is calling each of our names as if we were the only one. So it's time that he wants to rev up understandings. He is only love over us. He has promised, I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. I'll write my law and my love on your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of him anymore once they get a good understanding of his love having been unconditional. But you have to understand, even though he condemns us not, we condemn ourselves by our lovelessness as we go onto the road of perishing. And that leads to the unforgivable sin of letting his light within us to go out because verily, verily, he is love. And those who love are born of him and know our Lord because he is love, 1 John 4, 7. So it's time that we understand for all loveless people who will not let their love flow they are walking the road of perishing. And they say uh, evil is good and good is evil. There has not been uh, uh, more than one God. There's only one Lord of love. And his name is Isa Yeshua, Jesus, the living word of God. He is our majesty of majesties. All the extremists in the world, I don't care who they are or what they believe, uh, whether it's Christian extremists or uh, Islamic extremists or insane extremists, fanatical uh, extremists, uh, insane, totally nuts uh, extremists, killers, murderers, loveless people who have let their and are letting their love become bankrupt in this world. They are. Uh, there is condemnation upon them, for it is written that all those walking with the spirit of love, that there would be no more condemnation at all. And uh, so I hope that you are one of those, because that is what this world needs, is to light the candle of truth. This is the message that God would send unto all the terrorists of the world. And this is penned at this Christmas time because all terrorists of the world have no Christmas in their heart. They have no joy. No So the call for repentance now goes forth from the great white throne and the roaring lion of Zion. He's roaring like never before that he even loves deeply the terrorists. But in the lovelessness that the terrorists uh, have, that will bring curses of all that is opposite unto love. But whether you call it karma or justice of God, um, the in the Bible, the wrath of God, the a terrifying anger of God, that he's willing to return as it is written, and all will consider this in the last days. It is. It says that in Jeremiah 30, 24, that this will be considered, that uh, all the understandings of the rebuke of God and the judgment of God is actually only us judging ourselves and the, 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 the consequences of the hard hardness of our own lovelessness so uh, that is the biggest part of the mystery of God 
cleared up in your understanding that God is not judgmental or critical. He promises not to judge us at all. He says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember. I will not judge you. And if he did, he would be a liar. That's why God has even given it unto us in the word of God that we would even judge the fallen angels because we are just another kind of angels. Uh, Jesus said in John 10 that we are gods, angels in the flesh. The glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former. So it's time that we all come together in the unity of new understanding. I'm going to adjust my uh, camera here just a little bit here. I need my exercise for the day anyway. So here we go, balancing that. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you vile? extremists of the world ready to duke it out with love because then you're going to get nothing but good tidings, good wishes, a renewed spirit within you, a right one, a loving one. Forgiveness will be your pillow. Mercy will be your allotment. Nothing but uh, goodness of God will come forth to comfort you as, as a mother comforts his, his baby. Al Shaddai is the nour nourishing one. And he only desires the very best. So as I read this uh, word of the curse of lovelessness, know that it is not a direct curse from God. It is the curse that lovelessness causes for itself. Um, there are some evils in the world that are not evil. Uh, disease, is, it's biological. There's nothing evil about it. Uh, it's just a whole different thing on a different level that is not. Now, there has been some sickness born of demonic. I'm not saying that there is not, but overall, uh, it's time that we use some discernment. And the Lord said this. He said, there shall come to pass one who shall come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away. My name is Daniel. I live in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And it is time for love to be heard anew in this world. But to the uh, thrivists, to the extremists, the terrorists, and uh, the crazies in this world that just want to hurt, maim, and destroy, it's time that, you know, everyone goes two steps forward, one step back, people. I'm talking to the criminals of this world. It's time that if you're going to not be lost for good and for all eternity, it, it, if you're going to rob someone, do what you must, but do not hurt them and kill them. Smarten up, and there is still redemption ahead and promised from the great white throne if you will turn around. Otherwise, you will get uh, the results of this message. So... On this day, in the year 2021, I, the, the Daniel of Windsor, the latter day of Daniel 12, 13, who shall cause the shattering of the power of the holy people. Thus saith the Lord God, uh, vile extremists, Islamic or uh, atheistic or whatever kind of crazy that they are, they are thriving in the ways of the shameful mark of Cain, all shall be disowned by their lovelessness. Thereby they'll be deprived of the paradise that they have imagined unless they repent. Most accursed are rebels wallowing in witchcraft. Howbeit, says the Lord God Almighty, I am he who declares that everyone with bloody hands are now banished and cast out of the kingdom of not having any part of the upright faith of either Muhammad or the apostles of the Bible. It does not matter what religion or lack thereof you are. Being unloving is unloving in no matter what book it's written. And know that uh, the Lord God, he has sent loving prophets of high praises into this world to try to turn lovelessness around. So let no pious soul associate with anyone associating with the spilling of blood of Christians or Muslims or Jews or anybody. It's time to reverse the curse. For the Spirit says, the Lord says, they know not that I, the Lord God, have no religion. I am purest love 
undefiled. I am unfettered love that has no end nor beginning. I am the perfection of love, perfectly loving and irresistibly desiring that all irresistibly desire the love that God is in each of us, that has our light burning as a child, saith his messenger. Therefore the Jews and the Christians are also my people along with all the atheists and all the alcoholics and all the homosexuals and all people and I say unto all I will be their God and they will be my people I will forgive their iniquity I will never remember it as long Jesus said as long as uh, uh, they commit not the unforgivable sin letting their son their light of love go out and so for this reason Know that there is only but one road and one true path of love for all people. For that reason, the spirit of Moses now comes forth in this world. Even now, his voice comes against uh, every lover of terror who are as but festering germs unto me, saith our love of the ages, our beloved one. Know as well that I am also Jehovah Nisi, the banner of destruction over all people of lovelessness by their own hands. And I am the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, Ishmael, and Jacob. All have bowed down unto me alone. So let it now be understood that all murderous terrorists killing people in my name of love shall be immediately be disassociated with all faiths, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, all faiths, especially Islamic. The fanatical fanaticism is immense. And I, Daniel, suggest this. Let some music back into your, your uh, mosques, people. It's time to celebrate. It's time to move ahead. So thus saith the Lord God, if they will not obey the terrorist, I will disown them eternally, and I will then allow their madness and overflowing excrement to consume their souls from within. For I am he whose voice of trembling returns not to myself, but shall accomplish all that I command. I am Allah over the Islamic extremists, uh, who demands that all radical Islamic terrorism shall now cease, or I'll re resurrect not a prophet, but I will resurrect a word that I gave unto Moses to write, and I will fully let it resound, saith the Lord God over all the sick and demented Islamic terrorists. Now will Satan's sick children who spilled blood while vainly bringing sick glory unto my Arabian title suffer end time curses that I will send forth for their justice. Behold the whirlwind, look at the storm and lay thy eyes on peace in the spiritual hurricane center. So let Islamic terrorists repent to be forgiven rather than face the, the horrors of hellfire upon earth sent from heaven above. For much woe shall await the incorrigible, the stubborn, the self-damned. Let them destroy themselves. Such are children of Beelzebub, Satan, the Mephistopheles, Diablo, uh, who has been removed in these days of Daniel 12, 1. In banishment shall not matter to the terrorists, because they have been becoming Satan, uh, children thereof rebuking the ways of love. And so let the walking dead of all humanity and all following curses would they bring forth upon themselves, upon Lucifer's former leftover polluted winds of heartlessness that are still blowing around the circle of this earth by dead, uh, brain dead people who are letting their lights go out. Know that the hearts of every unloving terrorist killing in my under the title of Allah, which has now been proclaimed as the, one of the Lord's new names to bring peace in this here world, uh, that they shall have uh, received far blacker spirits than the black stone of Mecca for all the extremists of Islam, and that those assassins are spitting upon. My name is angry at the lovelessness of all those killing in my name. Therefore, I shall smite every blood-crazed radical with 
pain, saith the Lord, for I know where they hide, like the cockroaches of my word's creation. Let all of this now overtake them, says the Lord God Almighty, to everyone killing in the name of Allah. Cursed shall they be in the city, and cursed shall they be in the country. Cursed shall they be in their basket and in their kneading bowl. Cursed shall be the fruit of their body and the produce of their hand, uh, and the increase of their cattle shall be accursed, and the offspring of their flocks. Cursed shall they be when they come in, and cursed shall they be when uh, they go out. I, Elohim, Adonai, Allah, their, I am their enemy, uh, because I am love, and all those of lovelessness uh, are under the condemnation, because they walk not with my spirit of love. So I shall send forth a curse of curses, the cursing, the confusion, and I will rebuke in that day all that they set their hand to do, if they will not repent of their unloving ways until they are fearfully torn apart as they perish painfully because of the wickedness of their doings in which they have forsaken me. And as the Lord God that they insult, I shall make a plague of death cling unto them until I have consumed them from the land which they shall never possess. For I am the fire, the thunder, and the earthquake, who shall now strike them with grave sickness, with fever, with inflammation, and by severe burning fever. Uh, all this shall lovelessness bring forth cancers within their cancers. For I shall send a scorching fire and a sword of death, and their own demons within shall pursue them until no memorial is found for them any more. And let it be known unto all men that uh, uh, under the heavens of the Lord, which is over the heads of every terrorist, uh, shall become as the pavement, and the earth which is under them shall be as some men. For I am Jesus, says the rock of the ages, that shall fall on them, if they will not humble themselves under the hammer of God, the tongue of our carpenter of the ages, who shall change the rain of their land unto powder and dust, who will uh, bring forth from his highest heaven the devastation that shall fall upon those of Isis and of all crazies of the extremist Islam. For I am Elohim, and who shall cause them to fall? Uh, curses shall they bring upon themselves, if they repent not, and re look unto love, who is my uh, Messiah, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus. And know that I, the Lord's servant, Daniel, am but a forerunner, bringing forth his word. And in this day, in this hour of Islamic craziness, uh, spawned by the, 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 the hellfire of uh, the pit. All those not heeding my command, roars the roaring lion of Zion, shall uh, experience his frown, and they shall become as death. For I will cause cruel barbarians to be defeated, and they will not die hard. They shall die very easy. And such homicidal souls of no damn good are always accursed by the lovelessness of their own heart. Know ye not that when you were babies that your love was alive and moving and forward in motion? Leave the land of the walking dead. Uh, stir up your love unto overflowing. Be as a child again. Be born again. And then worship your Lord God in spirit and truth and peace, love and hope, which is born of love. Otherwise, you shall have uh, be troublesome to all the world, and you shall fall into the quick, uh, quicksand of your own manufacture. And I shall let their carcasses to become as food for the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth, saith the Lord God, Allah, against all every extremist. Uh, Islamic that's crazy and against all extremists, whether believers in love or not, atheists, if you're crazy and you're mean and you're unloving, that is all you are. And the Lord shall bring forth from you and strike all that are shedding boils, and he will allow you to be covered with boils. 
and with tumors, with scabs of pus, and with the horrible itch that he will allow you to have from your inner uncleanness, which could never be healed. For the Lord God says, I am he who will strike you with madness and with blindness and confusion of heart if you are loveless and will not repent. And they shall grope as at noonday as a blind man gropes within the darkness. And such sick souls will never prosper in their ways, for they'll become extremely oppressed and plundered continually. No one may ever save them. A terrorist man shall betroth a wife, but another man shall lie with him. That shall be the curse. He shall build a house, but he shall never happily dwell there. He'll plant a vineyard, and he'll never be able to delight in gathering its grapes. Uh, his ox will be slaughtered before his eyes, and he shall never be able to eat from it. It'll go rancid before he can get a chance. His donkey shall even be violently taken away before him, and shall not be restored unto him. Even his sheep shall be given unto his enemies, and he shall have no no one to rescue him until those who slaughter my innocence thus saith the Lord God let them hang down their heads in utter shame and yet I shall forgive them if they bow down unto love every knee shall bow unto he whose name is love Isa Yeshua Jesus Yeshua Hamashiach our returning Lord of love our majesty of majesties is he and he is the one sanctified from a, sin a sinless womb but every soul slaying another in my title and name of Allah shall now know that I will yet slay them for time everlasting until eternity's infernity never ends. 